name is Earl Miller. I've been working with torches for about 30 years. My father was a plumbing contractor, so I grew up using equipment like this as a young apprentice, a young, young man growing up in this industry. I'm going to uh, solder copper using Turbo's Viper Flux and Viper Solder, a lead-free solder. This is a 96.5% tin, 4% copper, and a little bit of silver added to it. Product like this makes the uh, alloys flow real nice, has a nice capillary and a nice filling range. It has a big plastic range, so these Viper SX solders flow much better than the typical 95.5 solders that are out there nowadays. So what I'm going to do first is take the uh, copper I'm going to clean. And the important part with copper soldering, when you're soldering copper, is to clean the copper. Both ends. Right now I'm cleaning the stub tube. I want to clean about a half, a, half inch of it down. That's the copper I'm cleaning, and at the same time, I want to clean the coupling. It's important to score the inside of the coupling. You want it nice and clean and shiny inside. I've got the coupling clean. The next thing I'm going to do is go and flux the fitting. I'm going to put a little bit of flux inside the copper coupling, move it around a little bit, and then I'm going to take just enough flux to coat the actual copper stub tube. This is important as the soldering process is important to solder when you're soldering copper, you want to have flux. The biggest problem a contractor has when they are soldering is they put too much, too much flux on the fitting. So you want to wipe up the excess flux. And what that does is if you have flux laying all over the copper, that's where the solder tends to go. I got the fitting all set and flux properly. It's clean properly. Now I'm going to solder this. The key to soldering copper is heat transfer and when to lay the solder in place. So what I'm going to basically do first is heat up the stub tube. The flame's going to wrap around the copper. The heat's going to transfer down to the bottom of the stub tube. And then I'm going to move the flame over on the copper coupling and solder it. The torch I'm using is a turbo torch. It's an A2 tip. That noise you're hearing, we call it, some people call it whistling. That's the sound of performance. The noise you're hearing is air entering the tube, and we're getting a real nice hot tip. Now you watch how fast that solders. I'm going to move the flame around, go up on the copper coupling, watch for the solder to start to flow. As soon as it starts to flow, I'm going to move the flame away a little bit, move it up higher, and come back and tap it down. You can look at that fitting, and it's a nice, clean solder joint. When I'm done soldering, the next thing I do want to do is I want to wipe the fitting. There's a little bit of solder sitting down there, so I want to wipe up the excess flux and get rid of the residue on it. There's a solder joint that will not leak.